<laughs> we got all dolled up today. <laughs> What does this couple have then? What resource do they have to keep their promises that they have made this day? There's one source I know, and this source is called love. So Brad and Marissa have made their covenant of marriage together before all here present by solemn vows, by the joining of hands, and the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, I declare that they are husband and wife according to the law of this state. Brad and Marissa, you are no longer two, but you are now one body. Live in peace and choose love to be your guide for the continual happiness and beauty of your union. Brad, you may kiss your bride. It is now my great privilege to introduce to you for the very first time, Brad and Marissa Moore. Brad, you are now the official guardian of my daughter. Her life, her love, her happiness is in your care. Marissa is a remarkable woman. Watching her grow up has been a privilege and honor for her mother and I. Protect, honor, and keep her close to your heart, or else. <laughs> Number one is love often. Love passionately, accuse slowly, and forgive quickly. Share joys and burdens, laugh often, and laugh hard. Keep each other's dreams alive. Please do that. Encourage each other, and listen, listen, listen. My brother and I wish to salute our sister Wendy, that's Brad's mother. She has done a fine job on raising this young man all by herself. And he's going to go and take care of this young woman, and he's going to protect her and provide for her, and it's a wonderful thing. I want to thank everybody that came here. I have had friends here that I've known since I was five years old come, since junior high. Brad's babysitter since he was three years old. My little bitty family that I have, we now have one big family. Congratulations, and we need more mores, so get busy. Okay. <laughs> When I first met Brad, he was young, just out of high school, and had hair that looked like Darth Vader's helmet. And I'm, if you haven't seen it, and you think there's a, some kind of inside joke, there is no inside joke. It looked like Darth Vader's helmet. We have always been close when we needed each other the most. We can tell each other secrets, you know, no matter what happens in my life you're there. And that has been my favorite part of being your big sister. Now, as far as my siblings dating, I am the toughest person to please. I met Brad and it was different. Brad, you just brought out a light in her immediately.
I can honestly say it has been a pleasure and a true honor to become one of your close friends. He has grown in, in so many ways into the person that he is now. But what's more amazing is his personal growth with Marissa, and I sincerely mean that. I think we can all testify that Brad and Marissa have become the perfect complement to each other, where their lives together will now become sweeter, more full, and more wonderful with each day.